intolerable, uh, this is inexcusable, and again, it is an attack on our city, on all of our neighborhoods, on our community, and an attack on our police. You heard it right there. IMPD on high alert tonight, working to track down whoever is responsible for shooting up the Northwest District Headquarters. Good evening. Lots to get to tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Fanchon Stinger. And I'm Dan Spieler. Today, city leadership from the mayor to the police chief stood together calling this attack a heinous act and vowing to find whoever did it. Fox 59's Kendall Downing joins us now live from the Northwest District. Kendall. Well, Fanchon and Dan, it was about 24 hours ago when someone shot up the place behind me. They hit the building in three cars. This sign sits outside the doors tonight. It says peace in the streets. It was here before, but it has a whole new meaning now. If someone brazenly attacks a law enforcement facility, they are capable of attacking anything, anywhere, Anytime. A police station, a seemingly safe place, turned into a crime scene. Now investigators are on the hunt for who turned a gun on their own headquarters. We have a violent individual or individuals on the loose here in the great city of Indianapolis. Our officers obviously are uh, bothered by this. Uh, they're troubled by it. The bullets flew around 11 last night, hitting walls, glass, and cars. Being late at night, just one officer was there, but thankfully was not hurt. At a different time, there was a potential for death. Witnesses reported seeing an SUV drive away at the time. This afternoon, police announced an incident commander will lead this special investigation of violence against police. This is another threshold, and we have to be aware. Of Riggs points to an alarming incident back in July where a man, now charged, retaliated against an officer that arrested him fired 17 shots into that officer's home, fence, and patrol car. The officer and his family weren't hurt. Aggressive policing this year, like new narcotics teams district-wide, is also taking more illegal drug money and weapons off the streets and turning up the heat on criminals. If you look at some of our recent arrests and you look at some of the sweeps that we've done recently, most of that information that's been obtained has come from the public. Police now turning to the public in this case, hoping to prevent more violence against their own or one of us. We truly believe someone in this community knows who's responsible for this, and we're asking for the community's help in locating that person before they attack another police station or before they attack someone in our community. No good information about the suspect or the getaway vehicle tonight to go on. Also, there were no surveillance cameras outside to catch any of this. If you know anything about this crime, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. The number is 262 TIPS. We're live on the Northwest Sign tonight. I'm Kendall Downing, Fox 59 News. Kendall.